Hey, it's Andrew and Kevin at Providential Signworks in Marietta, Georgia. We're uh, showing you some contour cutting on 18 by 12 parking signs. And we just uh, contour cut the holes on our Graftech FC8600. Some of the cool stuff that we've got is uh, in the contour mode, we are in uh, condition one and we've got a little indicator over here to let us know that we are in contour mode. We're now gonna go ahead and flip this around, the indicator light, and we're gonna go ahead and now perf. So I'm gonna pause the video for a second and we'll get into perf mode. Right, to uh, convert from contour to perf cutting, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna replace uh, the blade. We have a, it's basically, it's, it's the same blade, we just have the depth set for it. And we indicate that differently. Let me see the housing real fast with just a little yellow on, around the housing. So that lets us know that's our perf. And the other thing that you've got to do is make sure that it's in the front position. That, in, the instruction on that is actually located on the machine, right immediately to the left of the um, user interface. So you can see that's it. So from there, then we're gonna move from condition, um, let me come to the other side. We're gonna go from condition one to condition eight. We push the enter button and not the condition again, hit the enter button and then the key that shifts it over now we're into condition eight and that's important in perf cutting because we've set the, we've designated that condition all the presets accordingly the production office cutting. and that's kevin and kevin is going to show the file setup for this uh, job the parking lot sign you can see that this is um, Adobe's Illustrator. I'm gonna try to pan out here a little bit. I'm gonna zoom up on the layers and we've established layers. We have the artwork la layer. Oops, let me get there. We've got a contour cut layer. So we've designated a little out of focus. We've designated a layer that's for contour cut and then we've designated another layer then another color and another layer for contour cut perf or cut contour perf those happen to be the colors that we've identified um, for those two different functions so when you set up the file and you set up your your cut lines you can have different cut lines obviously one cut line for us it's the magenta color for cut contour and then there's kind of a blue gray um, for the perf and then that is in fact set up on the file So here we are, now we're about ready to send the job um, to the printer, or to the plotter, pardon me. And this is using Cutmaster, a cut server off of Onyx 11. And what you'll see is the cut lines here. And as we head over, you'll see on the far right side, you have several different options. You have the opt uh, layer, first layer is for contour cut. And let me pan over so that's what that looks like. And then you have um, another button then for the perf and you can click on that and you'll see go ahead and hover over it for me and when you hover over it you can see that's where the perf is going to be or the cutouts going to be the final thing we have to do is go ahead and click from default and and set it to the cut contour perf cut and send the job to the plotter go ahead and send it we're back at the graph tech and uh, we just sent the job to it and you can see again we're in condition eight the force of 32 we preset that and it will go through its normal registration process and we're not going to film that whole thing so you can see that's what it's doing at this point in time and we'll uh, go ahead and pause the video and come back to when it's perf cutting okay we're back as you can see we're uh, in the perf mode as the carriage has uh, gone through its entire uh, registration process. We've also uh, set up the machine to make sure and it's vitally important on the perf sequence that it uh, goes from front to back. And you can see here how this uh, is really ready to be popped out.
So this will fly in a front to back sequence instead of a random sequence. And that's very easy to set in the software. This is the uh, very first one that <laughs> came out during the during the uh, perf cutting. As you can see, uh, it's a very clean edge. What we've done is we've run this twice. We ran it the first time. Let's see if I can zero in on it on the contour mode. And the reason why we did that is we're trying to get to. I think you can see it on the video, um, but there's the hole for the sign. So we'll go ahead and pick those clean. But the rest of this then is ready. The way Kevin has set this up is ready just to go ahead and apply it directly onto the sign blank. We'll show you that you show the you that right cutting now. is a real time saver here at this stage of installation because everything is cut exactly to um, size. And obviously it takes a little bit of, of pre-work and setup to make sure that you have it correct and the radius is right. But um, as you can see very simply, simply weed the hole and trim. The uh, hole is a 3 8 inch diameter and what we did is went ahead and put in a 1 quarter inch for registration. Makes it a little bit easier to, to get access to it and clean it up. That's it. The sign is ready to be hung. Great job.